I got a ring. Uh, congratulations. Mm, no, sorry. Oh, oh. This one would be way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what this is, is um, it is a new, uh, it, uh, there's been a few um, at the conf- different places. Um, there is a new ring, essentially, that controls either by Bluetooth or through a hub or your Wi-Fi and essentially or IR capable and it passes it on to the device. What it is with small movements, um, if you actually look at the other video, the other link, okay, you'll be able to see that it's, it's just one small ring that you keep on your finger and you can connect it to pretty much anything, your TV, your lights, your they show it on your phone. You actually can pay with it. It uses the GPS in your phone or the iBeacon to see where you're at and you can pay with it using check marks and little things. Um, it's all just finger movements that it, uh, are programmed into it, which is pretty darn awesome. It's a Kickstarter. Uh, right now they're up to $455,000 in the Kickstarter. Um, so it's pretty much pretty well backed. Um, if you start at like the $165 sponsorship level, you will be one of the first people to get it, and they're expecting that to be July 2014. And funny, because I read in an article that they, they mentioned that that would be good for summer weddings, so instead of just the regular ring, you could have a fancy, fancy ring. So you can give one of these rings mm-hmm. while doing your proposal with Google Glass on, because mm-hmm. I know that's been a thing over mm-hmm. the last couple of weeks. Um, wow. Hey, so this, this th- that's a nice, like, low-maintenance gesture mm-hmm. kind all, of situation. It's, 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 it's all basic, just check marks, you know, just those little teeny motions with your finger. They're able to feel the vibration and just the movement of, movement of that. And there's going to be a separate kind of, same like Google Glass, a separate almost uh, app store for them. So they're planning on having a bunch of different apps go along with this too. So you're going to have a lot of different uses for it. One just being really cool and being able to just direct things with the, you know, go over there, turn my TV on, turn my lights on, <laughs> but just flicking your finger, barely any work. <laughs> well, so for, uh, and, and that completely has me interested. So now I'm out on their See? site looking around. So, so like the, the light switch and the, that kind of stuff, how does it integrate? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if the light switch is IR, like an IR sensor would be okay. my guess. Because, I mean, it connects. Or are they going to have to have someone develop for that to actually work? Because I'm interested because if you pledge 2500 or more, mm-hmm. you get the ring and the software development kit Mm -hmm. with early access to their APIs and direct access to the support team. So I'm guessing they're expecting, it'll be interesting to see out of the box when people get it, how many of these things it does and then how, are are they being a pebble where they're expecting, you know, we're, we're hoping people develop software for this. So so this thing, it, it's saying it's going to work with Glass. Mm-hmm. I imagine you can roll in the API or something like that. And we've talked about it in the past, like there needs to be another input for Glass, right? Like we, we've imagined like a Bluetooth keyboard or something. And, and the videos were showing really good, like, you know, the gesture, you know, kind of typing situation. Mm-hmm. That would be amazing for responding with Glass. Because like the biggest problem I have with it is I, the only way I can respond is by voice. So if I'm on a train bus in a crowd of people, it's a little awkward to do that. It's a little awkward to you know respond to something that, that happens on my glass. Um, or add a, you know, a caption to something or anything like that. Now it is going to be a little weird to be doing, you know, finger motions in the air, but you're already wearing glass, so you're already, you know, kind of sticking out. Um, but that's, that could be a nice halfway point. So, awesome. Yeah, I think it'd be much, much less strange looking than a lot of other motions. Different you're... levels of strange looking. <laughs> yeah, right? I think no. that's going to be the interesting thing is is what we accept as normal now in public versus what we accepted before in public as acceptable voices. Well, and that's changing and... all the time. I mean, we're used to blue people talking on the Bluetooth all mm-hmm. the time, right? Mm-hmm. Like Chilla over there. 